I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. Today, uh, it's going to be a little different. I'm going to do a little intro. There's going to be a video with a voiceover, and then I'm going to pop back in at the end. Uh, when I went to get my mom in Raleigh, I went to two LYSs. <laughs> And, uh, I found it was amazing just to have two LYSs in the same city. Um, but they were both amazing and wonderful. Uh, one has already, uh, uploaded, uh, and then this is the second one. So the intros are kind of the same, but, um, I wanted to talk about the fact that I went to two in both videos. That way, if you watch them in different order or wherever you find them, however it works, right? Um, so this one uh, is called Great Yarns, and it was wonderful and inviting, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll talk more about the place as we go through it, uh, and I hope you enjoy. See you again soon. Bye-bye. All right, here we have the entrance to Great Yarns. It was an interesting pink door uh, that stopped me in my tracks just for a moment. And then as we walk in... Down below, they do have a clearance section. They do have some neat window displays that they do change out. Uh, and then their yarn is done by uh, type and weight. So they have, you know, all of the specific um, company together for that particular weight of yarn. Uh, or type of yarn. So if it's cotton, if it's acrylic, if it's, they kind of have it um, all together. There was a lovely table in the middle I was trying not to get because there were ladies there that were knitting and talking and uh, the owner was very knowledgeable. She was helping people with patterns and with uh, things that they were working on. So that was all very lovely to see. There's lots of bright colors and lots of so many squishy squishy things here uh, I tried to go as slowly as possible uh, lots of makes uh, and these makes did have tags on them that told you the pattern that it was made from and the yarn that was used uh, there were lots of cubby holes I don't think that I accurately got all of them I did try uh, as we went through the store, I did have uh, my phone showing some people uh, the yarn as well. So it was kind of hard to juggle both the video and the uh, phone as well. Uh, very well organized, very clean, very lovely, super fun. Uh, I was so excited to see some great cottons. Uh, as you know, cotton is my favorite, so I was uh, glad to see some of those there and some yarns that I recognize as well as some yarns that I am going to need to learn more about. There's definitely some Rowan that you see there and I do have, oh, see, there's a peek of my phone. I was trying really hard not to uh, get them switched around. Uh, and then on the far wall, we get into some of the lighter weight yarns. Uh, and as you go up towards the front, that's where you get towards the sock and the fingering weight yarns uh, that I tend not to work with, but they are still lovely. Great prices, great vibe, lovely owner and people, and it is a fairly big store. I mean, when you walk in, all of the shelves definitely make uh, great use of the space because it is floor to ceiling yarn as you can see right it is just amazing they do have uh, lots of options 
for purchase. They do have a website which will be linked in the description box of the video. Uh, and lots of patterns that they do. They do change out their makes seasonally, which I thought was very nice. And they did have a place where you could buy kits and other things at the table. Yep, see, there's my phone. <laughs> um, and just some really great items. I, I know I've been through this part of the store already, but I was trying to get through everything and show you everything. Uh, but lots of wonderful elements and pieces. And I... I could stay in the store all day. I definitely could. It was lovely and amazing. And the video is going to end soon, but there, there's going to be a few still shots that I got. I did get some of that Barocco cotton there. It was lovely. You'll see that at the end of the video. Uh, I did manage to get some of those, so that was exciting. And as we roll into the still shots, you will see... Just the yarn in different areas and some great examples of some of the things that they have hanging in the shop. Lovely, lovely, lovely place. So many things to touch and feel. It was a sensory dream or nightmare depending on how you feel about it. Uh, and then the last shot as we come to this amazing little frog that was in the window. I just thought it was super cute and a great picture to end on. See you soon. All right, now that you have, now that you have seen the shop, I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got three of these. They are Barocco Vivo. And I will read the specs to you while you stare at the pretty colors. It is 100% cotton, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 317 yards, or 290 meters. There are a lightweight three, and they are made in Italy. And Barocco does still sell this on their website. Um, there are no colored names. There are only numbers. So this is color number 3525. Uh, this one is 3517 and this one is 3514 and I thought these would make really nice um, towels like dish towels or um, uh, hot pads um, so um, I don't have enough to make placemats and they didn't have enough of each color for me to make a bunch of placemats Although they would make really pretty placemats too. All right, so then I got these. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I cannot go anywhere that has anything Alice in Wonderland and not pick some of it up. So I did get three Wonderland yarns. Um, they all have the same specs, so I'm going to... They're all on the Alice, which is the DK weight. Okay, um, this one is... Oh, my hat. Brilla Blue, number 332. Right? Um, this one is Storyteller, number 194. And this one is Germany, and it doesn't have a, a number. But those are the three that I got, and they all have the same. Here, I'm going to turn this one this way so I can read it to you. Um, while you look at all the pretty colors. So um, it's a DK weight, 242 yards, approximately four ounces, 70% superwash merino and 30% silk. And they are all the same um, base. And I love them so much. This was such an amazing trip. I'm so glad that I got to do this um, and have a little bit of time to enjoy myself. Uh, I would definitely love to visit the shop again if I'm in Raleigh or close by and have the time. Uh, wonderful ladies, and I really, really appreciated all of their knowledge. Oh, I forgot this one. <laughs> oh, this is Rainbow Beach by the Queensland Collection. 
Uh, and this is Pure Australian Superwash. Now, this was on clearance. And this is called Rose Robin. Uh, and this is the only one they had. But it is a lightweight, or is a fine number two. Um, color 121. It is uh, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 328 yards, or 300 meters. And you can use a 3.25 or 3.75 millimeter knitting needle or 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I hope that you have enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, Bella.